Hey guys, thanks for watching. Today we're going to be talking about Wix Members Area. What is Wix's Members Area for? It lets visitors to your Wix site create their very own account on your site. This can be useful if you want to use your Wix site as a forum, blog, or booking platform so users can save their information when using your site. Assuming you already have your Wix site set up and the only thing left to do is to add a Members Area, this is what you can do. Go to Add Apps on the sidebar. Type in Members Area on the search bar. And click on Wix Members Area from the results on the drop-down. Click on Add to Site. Doing so will automatically add this feature to your site. New pages will also be added to your site, and those pages will be called Sign Up and Login and Members Area. You can find them under the Pages and Menu section on the sidebar. So here we have the Sign Up and Login page and our Members Area page. Now let's customize each of these pages. So you can find them once again under the uh, Pages and Menu button on the sidebar. We're going to work on the Members area for now, so let's select it. And over here, we're going to click on the gear icon. And this is where we'll be able to customize or edit our Member Pages page info, layout, and permissions. For the page info, uh, it's actually taking so much time to load up, but basically this is where you set up your page's name on your menu as well as the page URL. For the layout, select whether you'd like to use the standard or the no header and footer layout. Depends on your preference. And for permissions, Basically, you're going to have to customize this according to your preferences again. So who can view this page? Uh, is it public? So choose everyone if so. Is it only for specific people with the password? So choose password holders in that case. And members only is the last option. So make sure to customize this according to your needs and preferences. Now let's talk about the sign up and login page over here. Click on it and you'll see options for a member sign up form and member login form. In case you want to edit your forms, hover over it and click on the gear icon. And basically play around with these um, to suit your needs. So let's talk about them one by one. Uh, which for the um, sign up form and the login form, they're almost basically the same with just a, a little bit of difference. So let's talk about the member sign up form first because yeah, the member login form is basically the same except that there's an additional um, option for the member sign up form and that is social and community. So basically, uh, which member sign up form do you do your visitors see? So you can choose default form or the custom form. So if you choose the custom form, create a sign-up form to match your site's design and turn more visitors into members. So if you want to use this option, click on Add to Site. But I'm going to choose the default, so we're going to continue. To view your site's sign-up and login pages, click Publish and go to your live site. Uh, so you have additional settings here, General, which option shows first, the new member sign-up or the existing member login. For Social and Community, can enable Google login or enable Facebook login. And for the policies, show a link to your site's terms of use. You can take this on if you want, especially since you're collecting information from your users. And then show a link to your site's privacy policy as well. You can take this on too. If you want, you can also customize your login icon. So this is our login icon over here, and it has been added since we added um, a Wix members area app onto our site. So 
If you want to edit it, just click on it and you'll see different options below it. Let's talk about them one by one. So we have setup login bar. Here you can select uh, a layout. What does the uh, bar say before login? You can actually change this if you want to. And then what's the logout message? This is also where you can find member signup settings and manage site members. Next, we have the manage menu button. This is where you can add a menu item such as where you can place a link. Next is the layout button. This is where you can change your avatar size, show whether or not your bell icon is on, especially for notifications. You can choose whether, whether or not you'd like to show bell icon for notifications. You can choose your login bar alignment, choose arrow icon, arrow shape, arrow size for the drop down. You can select whether it's aligned to the left, center, or right. How is the login bar arranged, left to right or right to left? So basically just play around this and customize this according to your preferences. Next, we have the design button. This is where you can find options to customize your login bar's design. Let's click on customize design. It's not loading, but basically, this is where you can find options to customize your login bar's design when it's in a regular, when it's hovered over, and when it's selected. So change them according to your preferences. The next button is animation. This is where you can choose what animation you'd like to apply to your login bar. This is actually quite fun to play around with, so select the type of animation you'd like to use on your site. And that's all for today. We hope you found this video of help somehow. If you found our video helpful, check out our other Wix tutorial videos and please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.